Hi and welcome, I'm George Williams, founder and CEO of Reliability X, once again here with my good friend, Mr. Ramesh Gulati, the Reliability Sherpa. Thanks, George. Keep inviting me, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. All right, so today's topic, um, let's talk about maintainability. The well, ability to maintain it, something. Yes. To me, maintainability is ease of maintenance. If something goes, our equipment, something goes down, how quickly we can bring it back to operation. That's what maintainability. Again, we measure by mean time to repair. And mean time to repair should be going down, not up. Well, how do you do that? Two ways. One is, again, maintainability is a design attribute. We have to build maintainability. So that is easy to maintain. Now, what that mean? What that mean is think about you know, if my equipment is easy to maintain. If I have to change the V belt, it does. You know, just taking the something, a it, you know, cover out easily, and then somehow we can put the belt easily. Those are anything. And I'll give you another example which I talked earlier. Also, this that strainer. If there was a water line going about six inch water line going to the large compressor motor for uh, cooling the, the bearings and mm -hmm. stuff. Now, the designer in his own mind to save some money, he did not strain a pipe was about 10 feet high. Now, dual basket strainer, designer thought that, hey, maybe once a month he has to clean up strainer. <laughs> <laughs> is it cooling tower water? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was going to be it's coming water from the lake for raw water. Six oh. inch pipe. And by golly, this was training about getting clogged up twice in a one shift. Now, people, they didn't have to wait to go there. So they had put a, you know, it's a kind of a scaffolding there. Right. Permanent scaffolding, you call right, it. Right, well, yeah, temporarily permanent. Yeah, 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 <laughs> temporarily yeah, yeah. permanent. And the person will go up there and he will switch over to other side and this side he will remove it and then bring it, lower it down, so clean it and put it back. And after a few years of work, doing this way, unsafe condition. Yeah. Because water was, when he was doing, water will get on the floor and create unsafe condition. Finally, we figured it out, they figured it out, hey, it's going to cost so much. So they have to lower the whole thing down on the floor so they can do easily. Yes, it costs a lot of money, but still they were saving money now. Yeah, of course. And safe. Okay. There's so many other examples. So that's the one way in the design you can do it. Also, we have to educate our maintainer. In, we have to provide them right tools, that they have right tools, and how to repair that thing. We have to train them for that. Yeah. So, Maintainability could be done two ways in design. You build such a way so easy to maintain, easy to take it out, and also less component. Means if there are six bolts, can we do with one or two, you know, right. or three? Do we need to minimize component? Okay. Right. So that's is the kind of a design we can do that. And then how to get your people trained in use in repair those and giving them a proper tools so they can do that. Right. So those are kind of things, maintainability issue, and it really reduces your time to repair. I think the other factor in maintainability is, um, just as an example, uh, I remember a site that had several robots mm -hmm. and they always had a complete spare. Yeah. So if an O-ring went or something else went, it wasn't, Ju maintainability is not just can I fix that one component, but it's how quickly can I get the operation back up and running? That's it. Right? I mean, that's so, what exactly right. Right. So if I pull the whole robot, put a new one in, and I'm up and running, I can go repair that other one offline. That's still maintainability because it's it's to the plant, right? That, not necessarily it. just the asset. Well, I'll give you example, similar example. We had this furnace line where this uh, they were making rail anchors. And there were two lines we built, two lines. It was feeder to the furnace. Mm -hmm. And if we were having some problems, so they put two lines. So one is working and the other one is down there pairing. This goes down, this one gets in the right of That's right. 
and they were repairing this then the second one is and that's available. capacity assurance it's availability of the system all those things are part of maintainability that's right? right when you design a system with you know 40 linear conveyors it doesn't matter if you designed them all at 99.9 percent .9 reliability yeah. You've got terrible reliability, right? That's right. Because they are multiplier. You know? Right, right. And so, from a maintainability perspective, I, you know, you're stuck with how can I do the PMs? It always has to run. Like, I think maintainability is a more than just the individual equipment, right? It's the whole system and how how do I ensure its operation? That's exactly right. I mean, again, maintainability. Make sure if it, but asset goes down, equipment goes down. How quickly we back to operation? Right. That's a key thing. How quickly we can back to operation? Either you replace that equipment with something you have standby, or you do with a repair quickly. Or also you have to train, educate people so they can do the repair quickly. Yeah, That's and we also see it in things like end of arm tooling. Right, it, folks will try to fix one part of an end of arm tooling when they should be thinking more in terms of how NASCAR does things, right? Let's get the entire assembly, pop the assembly, put the whole end of arm tooling on and, and keep running. That's right. And then on the design side, uh, really basic things like your motor bases. To I, I know lots of organizations that roll belts on because they their motor bases are two pieces of all thread and it's a pain in the behind to try to realign that, right? And it takes forever because you're doing one bolt here, one bolt here. And for another 50 bucks, you get a dual rail with a single adjusting bolt and chains. And the whole thing moves as once, right? For a $50 difference in the price, or maybe a $100 difference in the price of the motor base, your maintainability skyrockets. That's exactly. In fact, I talk about that having a jack screw. You know, when you're aligning something, and it, you know, you use crowbars and yeah, this, mallet, this no, mallet, not. this side, that side. But if Instead you have a, a bolt, right? crowbar yeah. system, jack screw, yeah. you know, and then it's so easier. Yes, it's going to cost you money in design. Right. That's kind of designing it right. That's exactly right. Ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the 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 shroud, right? Can That's I what, can I see through it to, <laughs> and use to, a strobe light? A strobe light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All those things are maintainability. I love it. Maintainability is one of the areas in asset management and reliability where you stop the bleeding. If right now in your organization, you say to yourself, they keep giving me crap equipment, getting into your engineering standards and ensuring that things are designed for maintainability is a way to stop the incoming defects. As you were talking, something else came to mind. I was visiting this plant just a few months ago and they got a, this new equipment new they were going to install and the guy was showing me look at this plc this is a tenth different kind of a plc i got although we are standardized to these three but procurement people know well they saved it. the penny so save the penny <laughs> so now i got this one but i got to train people I have to get a spare for those people. Again, those are maintainability reliability issues. Yes, absolutely. So And cost issues. That's cost money is, that sits on the much, shelf, right? That's right. So, and and that's why reliability is holistic. Yeah. It involves a lot of different groups. It's not just maintenance, maintenance. that makes the Again, plant reliable. If we can, I mean, train procurement guys, hey, saving dime here, we are paying lot more money later right. on it won't save you money exactly. company and that's what the key thing we have to educate everyone and everyone is a reliability person or maintainability person in the company awesome well anybody that needs education and maintenance and reliability there's only one place to go you know that right that's right reliability x so uh, awesome well for Ramesh Galati I'm George Williams go make tomorrow better than today